Welcome to another one of my paediatric medicine uh, treatment videos. Today we are uh, taking, we are removing an onychogryphotic uh, nail, which has been causing trouble for many years. Onychogryphosis is sometimes called a snail shell toenail. Uh, this is where a toenail thickens uh, so much that it grows upwards instead of outwards. And as you watch this video, you'll get a good sight of this. This makes it difficult uh, in uh, fitting footwear. So first of all, I am performing a local anesthetic block for the toe. This is two injections at the base of the toe. This completely numbs the toe, so no pain is felt. Uh, tourniquet is applied. We use these uh, toe tourniquets. The tourniquet needs to be tight enough to restrict blood flow for a short period of time uh, to the digit so that way it is not bleeding whilst performing the procedure and primarily this is to enable the phenol, the chemical we use to cauterize the nail bed, uh, to work effectively as blood neutralizes the phenol's activity. Now you can get a good view here of just how thick this toenail is and you see why it is causing significant discomfort. This gentleman has previously had this nail removed by his GP uh, however the nail bed was not cauterized or, or phenol ablated as some we call it and therefore it just grew back in time. Uh, first of all we separate the nail from the nail bed. This is more difficult in these thickened nails, um, but it is possible. We tend to find these thickened nails are much softer and it can be difficult to differentiate the nail uh, from the, the, the soft tissue and surrounding skin. And now the nail is mostly free. And my best approach for this was to uh, remove the thickened nail, uh, the thickness of the nail uh, first. We're effectively removing this nail in three pieces and then we take one cut through the middle of the nail, separated all the way to the nail matrix. Then we take some forceps and the nail is twisted as it's removed and it comes out in a clean piece without the nail plate breaking so we have a clean nail bed we remove any residual blood we use these phenol pods similar to an earbud but doused in the chemical phenol this is then applied throughout the nail bed to prevent the nail uh, from returning. We noted once the nail bed has gone from its healthy pink color to a uh, dark gray, uh, that the finalization process is complete. This usually takes between two and three minutes. This gentleman is on uh, clopidogrel anticoagulant therapy and we have to be careful of bleeding post-procedure. Uh, a good finalization of the nail bed does help to limit some of the bleeding. We have to ensure the tourniquet is removed and the circulation returns to the toe, which you can see in the change of colour. I'm using uh, a dressing 
uh, counterstat which helps to uh, prevent bleeding. It's held in place with a simple, simple dressing, and then we apply a light compression bandage. Bandage stays on for approximately two days. The patient's going to change this himself. And we will follow up by remote consultation in three days' time, uh, provided there are no signs or of infection or other complication. Uh, then he will uh, continue his wound care regime himself, checking in regularly by remote consultation. It's a sizable dressing, but he had no difficulty in uh, getting his normal shoes uh, back on. We often find that the lesser toes need less of a dressing. This is held in place with some simple medical tape. If you have liked this video, uh, please like and share and subscribe to the page.